Residents in the suburbs of Athens are evacuating as wildfires close in on the Greek capital. The, fire, the prime minister says the country is facing an unprecedented environmental crisis. The wildfires have wiped out large areas of forests, destroyed infrastructure, and threatened a world-famous archaeological site. A record heat wave is fueling blazes across large parts of southern Europe. Determined to make a stand, these villagers living just north of Athens refused to flee the flames. They chose instead to stay and fight the blaze alongside the emergency crews. Many felt they didn't have a choice. Leave and go where? And let my house burn? If we'd left, this place would have been destroyed. We told the women, elderly and children to go, and whoever was able to stay on to help, however they could. Authorities say high early evening winds rekindled many of the flames, erasing much of the progress made during the day. Just hours earlier, crews had managed to get some of the fires under control. The wildfire, about 30 kilometers out of Athens, threatened the city's electrical grid and supply. The flames also came close to the site of the ancient Olympics. An all-out battle ultimately saved one of the country's most treasured attractions. But scores of fires are still raging. Rescuers are exhausted after working nearly non-stop. But Greece's Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis has warned that the worst is yet to come. Tomorrow we expect strong western winds in many areas. We are talking about unprecedented conditions following many days of a heat wave, which have transformed the whole country into a powder keg. Mitsotakis said the fires were a reality of climate change. Many see it as one of the main triggers. However, others say some fires were started deliberately. But whatever the cause, everyone here will be hoping that the extreme heat and high winds will end sometime soon. DW's Barbara Vazel joins us now from the Greek capital. Barbara, the prime minister there warned that emergency services were facing a difficult night. What did, what's the situation there this morning? They have had a very difficult night, Terry, because it has been relentless. Fires that had been brought under control yesterday were rekindled during the night because the wind has been springing up and it's supposed to get stronger throughout the day. Uh, and there, it, it's just like one pine cone sort of jumping one, one side of the road to the other uh, that can reignite whole areas. What the firefighters are trying to do, sort of using the main highway leading out of Athens, leading north, as a fire break. It has been blocked off for traffic and they're trying to sort of keep the fire to one side. Uh, they are now getting help from European countries. French firefighters have arrived here and water throwing planes, of course, from several European countries. But it is, of course, not enough because all this, as we saw, is tinder dry and it just takes the tiniest spark and the battle just goes on and will be going on for days here. How well prepared, Barbara, is Greece to tackle fires on this scale? Not well enough, of course, is the short answer. But things have gotten better since the devastating fire in 2018 that wiped out a whole suburb and killed around 100 people because evacuation orders were not being given. There was complete disarray in the fire services, the police and, and other authorities. Things have gotten better from then. Everybody gets constant warnings now on their, on their mobile phones uh, to leave an area, to be careful, to get, not get close to the fires, uh, to take care of the smoke and, and, and smog that is covering the city, and uh, for old, old people, children, and so on, to stay indoors. So all that is much better coordinated. But you can never have enough firefighters uh, to fight fires like you see now in Greece, not only in the north of Athens, but in other areas of the country in this south on the Peloponnese, more or less everywhere on some of the islands fires have broken out and it is almost impossible to really bring them under, on, under control. Are there any clear indications, Barbara, what's behind these fires? 
It's a mix, of course, Terry. It's a mix of, of different factors. As, as always in the summer, you have fires in Greece because people are negligent. They leave uh, garbage lying around in the forests or uh, around uh, the, the built-up areas that ignite. Uh, then fires are being set regularly. That is also a horrible Greek tradition. People go around and, and set uh, trees on fire. Uh, and, of course, then there is climate change. Uh, as we heard, uh, the Greek Prime Minister, Mitsotakis, he has acknowledged this and has, has said this is something we'll ha we will have to deal with and live with. This, the intensity of the fire, the intensity of the heat and the winds that are generated by these fires is so great uh, that, uh, that everything will have to be sort of rebuilt. Athens needs to completely rethink the structure of the city and uh, many measures will have to be taken, but the southern countries mm. are stricken and this is not going to end this year. It will probably happen next year and the year after that. Everybody more or less knows that now. Barbara, thank you very much. Our correspondent Barbara Basil there in Athens. A large wildfire in the U.S. state of California has engulfed a small historic gold rush town. The fire north of the state capital, Sacramento, destroyed homes and wiped out historic buildings. The fire has been burning for three weeks and is one of 12 raging across the state. 